Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Joe and this is another review of Work Ascent Resources Soviet Republic Season X. The Republic has grown about twice in size, we have four new cities which includes one micronation, we have steel, we have coal, we have a bunch of things that I would like to show you and then we can look at the total balance sheet and see how we've been doing. To get you an overview, this is where we stopped last time in this area down here, which is supposed to be handling all of our iron needs, which is currently is more than capable of because we are exporting iron. We're not exporting iron as we did before, but we are using it for steel production, which we will look at in just a second. But overall, this whole area is relatively happy. We didn't have people really invited before, but uh, people from all over the cities that are flocking into the central part are relatively happy we even got an 81 percenter over here on average and we have education everything else kind of taken care of so this one is actually working really well however there was a time when we were missing food and the shopping center wasn't available uh, to everyone and that caused issues so we did have to add an extra shopping center here for the overflow but since then things have calmed down and everyone has been happy uh, overall uh, one one major thing that i did have to add is over here uh, some scrapping utilities which will take care of scrapping helicopters and other things as well as the need arises. We have turned on our cement plant, another cement plant, yes, I understand. Um, but this cement plant is mostly used for prefab panel production, which we are trying to export. But since they're not that uh, worth that much money, I haven't fully concentrated on just doing that. And we're still exporting some more cement, which, as you may imagine, we have a ton of ships now and maybe we can go count them later i'm guessing we're at like 30 or 40 uh large and smaller ships which is pretty fun but let's look at the new areas the first one is down here because we did know that one of the resources that we will we should produce ourselves now is coal and coal is used for obviously uh steel production which is used for a lot of things that we need um for the rest of the republic specifically vehicles um also well for steel vehicles mechanical components uh, we also need coal for our own uh, heat production etc etc so this was a big thing i really liked the location so we have a big harbor area here where this is our internal harbor with three storages that are 5,000 tons of coal each and then we have the external or the um, export harbor sitting over here which has another 10,000 tons of coal coming in whenever is appropriate and of course the incinerator because we do expect to see quite a bit of uh, material coming through the mines that we have sitting back here. Currently, we have five coal mines, one, two, three, four, and then five is back there, all of which are about 30% source, so they're not great, which means one processing plant is generally enough per uh, coal mine. And uh, if we are producing 100%, we are producing about 600 tons of coal a day. Um, which a steel plant will use 375 tons of coal a day. We have two of those. So this is not enough to even run the steel plant. So just be aware of that. We are getting into the solution of that part in just a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is coal. I kind of like it because it kind of moves in this valley. Uh, and then we just have this little town standing up here, which is our main coal town, but it turned out it wasn't enough people. This town actually causes the most problems. Uh, mostly because people can't always get everything they want. So let's look at these guys. Uh, yeah, they only got 90% of culture done uh, because it, it overflows a little more than what I wanted to. We have added a new indoor pool over here that is helping the situation just a little bit, but having two of the same attraction is not always super helpful. So that's the first thing. Plus, because this town didn't have enough workers as it was designed, I did have to resort to adding another... You know, I don't even know what we call these, like non-utility village, where all we give them is a kindergarten and a clinic and then a police station, because why not? Uh, everything else they have to go into town for. We have more than enough buses here and an end station that can handle all of it. Um, and the people are not terribly unhappy. They're more happy than the people in the coal town. Um, but yeah, we, we did have to expand the city that we have had up here by another 2,000 people. Uh, just to make sure that our coal production can actually keep up with what we need it. Um, I, I'm a little surprised by this is this not working as well as I want it to work. We generally see a lot of traffic going through here, even though we have a bypass, but not everyone wants to use the bypass. So I've been playing around a little bit with different road signs. They haven't haven't worked 
um, in some situations, and there's still way too much traffic going through here, on top of which this bus station cannot handle as many buses and lines as um, the the station number may suggest. So that is another problem. This, this always backs up a little bit, which is why we added another bus stop here, which is the main target for people coming from the town down, uh, down in this area. But overall, they are producing coal. They are doing pretty well. Uh, and we're going to look at our yearly productions and all of those things later on the balance sheet. So that was the first step. We haven't touched anything on this side. That's probably going to be the next thing, but nothing there yet. Let's look at our uh, coal production or steel production. Currently, the Lubinals are sitting here because we had a mass die-off in... I called this the line. It was supposed to be a much longer... Uh, looking city and this city's whole purpose was we have a large bus uh, train station in the middle bus train station in the middle uh, that is serviced with a end station right here we have relatively large trains going through here but as you can see we don't have enough people currently uh, again they died off and this city is not as full as it needs to be currently we only have 5,000 people living here but this whole setup especially on the right side of the the uh, of the station is built for about 15,000 on purpose because the plan is, and obviously we haven't put that fully into function, uh, but the plan is to add cities around this area uh, to bring in by bus and bring by train if necessary to uh, fill up the uh, remaining citizens after 15,000 because that's what we can handle with these two large shopping centers. Uh, we do have uh, forklifts helping but I am more than willing and more than assuming that I will need to get trucks in there as well to support this if it's actually going to be super full. Uh, because at some point, if you drop off a lot of people at the same time, you will overflow um, your centers. So in this case, we probably shouldn't use trains or buses that can handle more than 250 people at once. Uh, because once you have 500 people sitting here, that's not going to be a good, good look. Uh, but yeah, this was the first city. It was supposed to be a little longer than what it is, and I would like to do a little more detailing around it. But... At least it's working. It's functioning the way that it is right now. It just needs to be expanded. And we have a lot of room. We have a lot of flat space right here where we can just have a nice bus or tram line running through. Uh, there's more space right here by the ocean, which is nice. And we have some more high space out here. As you can see, a lot of room. And we started expanding with the line west over here, which is another two or three, about 2,000 people. Uh, fit in here and people are relatively happy so we are finally at a space where everything is working right and these guys will also be able to help with uh, our box site which is currently located right here that's one of our best box site resources the other one is down here by utopia which i still haven't started building those mines yet i'm not sure if we will maybe i like all of the processing to happen out here the problem is we don't need aluminum we don't need money we don't need bauxite bauxite is a really good money maker uh, that doesn't require a lot of workers once you get up uh, like only the bauxite itself but we don't need money money is not a problem we actually have to worry about being able to produce the things that get more expensive which is also part of the next step um we did have a huge huge problem uh, a couple episodes ago where we had all of the ships assigned to the single repair station which was right here and how many ships do we have well i'm glad you asked because now we can look if we look on the whole map we have two well we have we have one page and a little bit i think there's 25 ships on on this page and then we just have a couple more all of which decided that hey repairing here would be a really good idea let's do that uh, guess what they all got stuck at some point because there was a lockup happening ignore this repairs happening we just did a lot of um a lot of construction with our helicopter fleet recently uh and they they just deserve a little bit of rest but we had this repair station here that wasn't enough it was also out of the way for all ships that wanted to go through this canal out here uh and the ships that had to come from down here this is where the coal is they have to go all the way around here to deliver coal down to the steel mills which just takes a little while so we had to add more the peninsula itself is not a bad place because this is also a big harbor this is a harbor where ships have to come out this way so the peninsula is not a terrible place for repairs which means or well, which meant adding another repair station right here with two uh, cargo harbors that are both connected to the repair station and um being taken care of and now we have the lines just split out a little bit looks like we have about eight 
going here and then we have about uh, another eight going here then we have uh, these are just the lines these are not even the ships we have a number of what uh 10 or so still going to that uh, repair station and then we added one more repair station all the way up here we are back to where the steel mill actually sits uh with a double repair station right here and that's where we stopped earlier and um they all work they all work these these ones are not overloaded yet but as you can see we have four going through there and then we have another four here so if you count it that's eight eight ten twenty eight lines plus another eight we have 36 lines for shipping only <laughs> Uh, some of them are import, some of them are export, but all of them are working really well. So that is exciting. Let's look at, is the line pretty? No, the, the prettiest part at night is definitely over here. Um, if we turn off all the all the overview, because everything is moving, everything is full, and everything is lighting up. Um, it's really a nice place to hang out, if you really feel so. But uh, not yet. So this is our steel. Uh, LLC? No. Steel Incorporated? Maybe. <laughs> uh, what we have going on is pretty simple. I am fully committing to ships. Are you actually stuck or are you leaving? No, you're fine, you're leaving. Sun is coming up, so now we can actually look at things again. I'm fully committed and bringing all of my coal in via ships here. There's no other connection unless we drop directly into the steel mills, which I'm not planning on doing yet. But all the ships deliver right to here. Are you guys seriously just blocking each other now? Can you go back? to this thing and stop being annoying and can you just go actually can i send you back to here then we may be able to get something done chips are just a little more difficult and slow and doing all the things that they're not supposed to do but it's fine so here's the steel mill double steel mill setup because we have 15,000 people in the area at least i'm assuming that we will which usually means we can run at close to 50 percent right now until i get more people because right now we have a little more than 5,000 not all of them get serviced all the time but um yeah we have a good amount of coal coming in but again if we are running at 100 percent, we need closer to 750 tons of coal no yes 750 and we're not producing that uh weren't producing that before but this is fine they both got their all uh, own coal de uh, depositories or repositories and then we just have a couple setups here with distribution offices bringing stuff out to the um, island storage and if the island storage is ever overfilled we are bringing it out to the export storage which there's a ship running around currently bringing stuff to specifically our harbor repair stations because they all need so much steel um, we just have to take care of them otherwise it's not going to work uh, steel distribution is happening from here as well as mechanical component distribution and these guys we just added them. I haven't tried to max them out yet. All we're using these for is general construction and um, machine, well, machine vehicle build. Um, but it is something that we just have to expand on more and more um, to hopefully get all the things, well, taken care of and have enough material for everyone to be happy. Hey, you're bringing steel somewhere again. That's wonderful. But you thought there was more here than there actually is. So that's your fault. <laughs> Uh, we also have the metal scrap recycling plant sitting over here. They're doing their job. I'm not getting as much metal scrap from the uh, steel mill production as I would expect, but it's fine. These two metal scrap recycling facilities are more than sufficient to well, turn anything we have in the Republic uh, into steel. So that is fun. Again, there's the line. There's a new line. And we're going to expand this. We're probably going to do bauxite and stuff over here. We may even throw an airport somewhere in the area. Uh, I haven't touched tourism yet, so it totally has to happen, but if I want to do that, I will want an airport. Uh, let's look at the last thing first, and then we look at the maybe my new favorite part of the Republic, which is right here, and we're going to get there, don't worry. Um, we had issues. We had big issues with the oil refinery not being able to produce enough fuel, specifically when I was using helicopters heavily for... Uh, construction because as you can imagine they take a lot of fuel they take a lot of trips and i have a lot of helicopters that needed to do something so we ran into issues where the internal peninsula storage was never full and the external island storage was never full from the refinery the re refinery in theory could produce twenty one thousand tons of fuel and we were using um no like sixteen thousand tons of fuel i did some math in some episode uh, but it was able to produce a lot, and we used about 5,000 tons more a year when I used helicopters, which obviously wasn't nice. 
Uh, to prevent that ever happening again, I threw in another city over here. It's not turned on yet, but it has everything that it needs to be activated. We just don't have enough leftover people right now uh, living in spaces uh, that I would want them to, to move in here. I need about 1,200 to get this one turned on, but just for the utilities and all that stuff. Uh, and then we have another repair station over here that will also be responsible for, you know, keeping track and making sure that everything that needs to be repaired can be repaired because that is becoming a thing and a theme. So uh, we do want to make sure that that is all ready and prepared. The original cities, uh, Bubon, Bubu, is still doing fine. Uh, these are the three Nerpo flats that we usually use to populate all of our other uh, buildings in the Republic, and they're doing okay. Uh, when we do use the helicopters a lot, they tend to do this, where they just want to be repaired, and it's a little slow because I didn't give my repair station an aluminum storage, which is a mistake. I could fix that by removing this construction off. Uh, yeah, construction office probably on this side uh, and expanding it a little bit. It's just three vehicles, uh, so that is that is that. But I didn't have to do that yet. Also, these excavators do not function in a helicopter construction office. They have to be replaced again. They only got in there because of replacements. Uh, so that's an interesting uh, bug that happened there a while ago. Everything else over here is fine. We added a couple distribution offices to handle some distribution in the area, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Let's go to my new favorite part and turn the UI off. Over there is the island of Minimi. Minimi was born out of necessity because we knew that we didn't have enough coal being produced every year or every day to run our steel mills and do anything else with it. We would eat up all of it uh, because again, 600 tons was the max and we would never produce all of that and steel mill was eating way more than that already. So the island was actually our best coal resource, the most concentrated. We have a little extra coal sitting down here, but we're not even near there yet. We could have probably stretched and gotten there, but that would be, would be relatively lame. So I decided to go on the island. The island is called Minimi just because it's not the Republic, it's Minimi. Um, and what we have here is effectively a group of Nerpro flats that is as, as far away from pollution as possible. So our health is actually doing really well. Uh, and it has everything that it needs right here behind, uh, behind the buildings. So we have a kindergarten, we have a, well, everything that you need. Everything that you would expect to see here. And all these cars that are sitting there, those are repair trucks from the repair station, uh, which is missing steel again. But steel is down here. Well, you just have to set up your truck again because you did funny things earlier. Yes, I did. Um, so they're getting all their stuff via ships. We have two ships sitting over here. They're responsible for moving metal scrap and construction waste away uh, from the mining town, which is right here. And just all, all of it can get dropped off there. We have a harbor that's bringing in all the food and meat that we may need with this ship using uh, advanced storage, uh, which so far is working and we needed exactly 10 items to be delivered here to the city so that one ship, that's one Frida, is doing an excellent job at getting all that done. Um, coal mine wise, we have four, all of them run at about close to 50, 40 to 50 percent. Um, which is producing enough for now. We haven't really tapped into the full production potential yet. Plus, the city itself is half full, 3,500 people. And if you look around, there's a lot of empty apartments still uh, available. So once we actually fill those up, we can fill up our mines and we can produce a lot more coal uh, to get around and do our things. One of the newer mods that I used was this little power plant. It's not new, it's just new to the Republic. Um, because the size was good and the output was relatively good for what we wanted. So we are producing everything we need on this island. If we don't produce it, we use ships to bring it in, which is mostly the single ship, which I should probably expand to a second ship, because what if this ship needs a long repair or something else? Yeah, that'd be bad. Uh, fuel is coming in here. That's another mod that we're using uh, with our tanker. It just unloads it right here. I have a lot of fuel stored here because a lot of ships come in. We have helicopters, these are responsible for repairs. And uh, then we have these two, which are, this is actual export, and this is um, over, come on, over here on this side is the import uh, utilities, and I spelled that wrong, because this is definitely for import internal needs, uh, once we actually wanna turn that on, which I haven't done yet. Uh, we have another ship sitting over here. Uh, oh, I, 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 I set you up wrong. <laughs> there, there was something wrong that I did with you. Uh, but we're getting our steel and our aluminum delivered here, so our repair station has what it requires. 
I haven't turned off this cargo platform yet. We're not currently using it because there's another vehicle storage right here. Because one of the big things that is down the road that we have to handle is a vehicle replacement on this island. Because at some point that's, be that's going to become a thing and everything runs on buses. There are a couple trucks. Uh, there are obviously a lot of dump trucks available here because the, the, the waste that the mines will potentially put together is going to be quite prohibitive. Uh, so we have to take care of that. And then I did choose to use a fire station of some helicopters here. Uh, I do have a normal fire station on the island, but I just didn't think that in the winter we can save our um, power plant with firefighters from the island reliably every year. Same thing with the uh, waste separation over here and the incinerator. They're doing great, but we need to make sure that we can actually handle everything uh, that we want to handle that gets thrown at us. And then we have our um, ash dumps available well, on the island too, just spread out in a bunch of different places. Pro tip, I'm using the regular garbage stands and let the technical service offices pick them up instead of using uh, distribution offices to pick up from the transfer stations that we used for the iron mines uh, a while ago, and it seems to work pretty well. So that is exciting. With all that in mind, oh, uh, we have a little backup over here of a couple windmills. Uh, that feed into the network whenever whenever necessary but generally we don't need them anymore uh, so that's all good let's look at our stat sheets uh, as we speed up because it's nighttime again Wha how are we doing last year last year we exported this much <laughs> 226 million dollars not a lot because i actually sl well this is just the materials this is the materials that we're exporting. So we're exporting iron, some nuclear fuel, some bitumen. As you can see, iron is actually one of our higher value exports, which is fun. But I'm sure it has a lot to do with the steel that we have imported over time, as well as mechanical components to run our vehicle production line. Some bitumen coming through. Cement is, is doing all right. Coal. Yep, we don't have a lot of coal to export. Gravel, we export about as much as coal. This is actually interesting. Um, but I'm sure it has more to do with the ship sizes than anything else. A little bit of metal scrap for trash. Um, a little bit of steel. Oh, from this is from the peninsula because we are scrapping vehicles there. Uh, yeah, prefab panels we have started on. A little bit of oil. This one's surprising. Where do we export oil from? Hmm. Should look at that. <laughs> Mechanical components again, electrical components. Uh, this is all just from uh, scrapping and repairs. I mean, you can see the amounts and then so on, so on. I'm not actually exporting any fuel right now. Not, not purposefully because that can um, reduce our supply by too much, and that's not really worth it. So that's our exports. If we look at our imports, what do we still need? This is the big one. This one we have to replace. It's almost 100 million a year, which is about a third of what we just exported last year. So if I want to keep this up, I have to export a lot more vehicles, which I'm not sure that I'm ready for that yet. Um, electrical components, similar. This is mostly for construction, the uh, electrical components, but um, it, is, it is a little challenging. Mechanical components, I am expecting the number to go down because our mechanical components factory was just turned on. Once we produce enough steel, this one should be able to produce everything that we need in the Republic. Uh, same for steel. This number should have shrunk now. If we look at the previous year, uh, we may see that, yeah, our previous year was a lot higher, so we already halved it. And we, as I said uh, earlier at some point, we did have some issues getting our steel production going the way we wanted to. And then food is just sitting here at 30 million, so it's not highly critical that we get that one in. Same thing for chemicals or everything else that sits down here because they don't have a big enough impact on what we actually need to do here. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, what is our daily production and consumption overall? Well, we'll produce about... 670 that, that's the number that it showed right 670 whoa that's wrong because this number is an addition no that's that's just 500,000 that's fine so we are producing a little over 673 million uh is that a year that's a year cool we're just not exporting everything so we do have a lot of potential to export more but do we have enough so iron ore is one of the bigger producers um, I would expect coal ore to be up in that category too, but as I mentioned before, we are not... Um, that, that little coal city is causing us some issues just overall. Consumption-wise, we're pretty much consuming everything we produce, <laughs> so you could say that's a good thing. Uh, I don't like that this number is as close as it is, but that is fine. 
construction. This was just last year. This is pretty much uh, what it costs to build the city that you're looking at right here. So it's not super expensive and we haven't invited any citizens. Um, citizen facilities, they consume most of the electronics that we get and a couple are used in uh, repairs. So that's important. But yeah, this is the big one we have to replace. I uh, said that now a couple of times, but that's what it is. Vehicle wise, we are consuming this much fuel. Uh, in a year, but when we do use helicopters, we are consuming a lot more. Where are we now? We are in May. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're already at 6,000 tons of fuel. But uh, yeah, helicopters can be scary for this for this fact. Uh, waste production, all that other stuff. Obviously, it's not a big industry yet, but it is relatively important. And then where my actual money comes from every year, this is what I export. 300 million in vehicles and um apparently i imported a bunch of ships last year too which makes sense um but yeah 300 million in exports just for vehicles and this is not concentrating on vehicles so our net looks at about negative 127 million uh, for last year because i did import a lot of vehicles and on the on the nato side we weren't doing much better which is actually a little impressive but yeah we did have a little bit of money uh, and we're just currently not exporting um if you want to look at all no problem let's look at all if the game doesn't break so we made 899 million which is what this looks like because we started with 1 million uh, and then 239 million overall and these numbers are unreadable but um you can you can get a, a sense of what's going on here and if you really want to study this um, I just recommend going to Patreon or becoming a YouTube member because those have the safe games available and I'm actually making them available on Patreon as a little package. Uh, like, you can either buy all of them for like a fee or just like a certain group of them as a fee, uh, whatever you want. And these will come out once the current internal beta becomes public, publicly testable. I think it's uh, 0 0.011. So uh, yeah, once that is out, I will make sure that this is out and available for you if you wanna if you wanna look at more stuff. What are you guys doing? You are getting some coal, and you oh you you're the export one. Cool, that's fine. Um, you're coming to this one. You're just on the wrong, wrong one. This is the internal storage uh, where I just sent them to different places where they can uh, bring a little stuff to. Looks like our steel mills have caught up with the coal that we were bringing in. The four tankers that were sitting here. Now it's just one. It's still full. But we are eating through it uh, relatively fast, so that's exciting. And that's it. That's the overview, the growth that the Republic has experienced. Again, Minimi is by far my favorite area right now because it is it is really self-sustained. Uh, and it filled up the island wonderfully. And I think everyone is relatively happy on the island. So that makes me excited. Plus, the number of ships that go to this island make it worth it. So... Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, there will be another overview in a little bit. And honestly, I would love to see your republics. How are you doing? We are in year 2020. So not very far in, honestly. It's about 80 episodes now. Uh, one episode a year? Yeah, approximately. Sure. Um, but we are in 2020. I would love to see your republic in 2020 and beyond. How far have you taken it? What have you done to it? Um, why have you done certain things, maybe? Would be a cool idea. And I'm sure most of it will be very different than what I have. Uh, the thing right now that stands out is so far everything is kind of working which i'm not sure that i expected the way that it is functioning but i'm happy um to see that it is where it is so thank you so much for watching i'll see you again next time Bye bye